Hey, I'm Melissa, and this is Real Questions Real Quick, where we answer real questions from you really quick. Our first question comes from Prince Leonard on YouTube. Question one, how can I be joyful every day? What routines or daily habits can I try? Let's first define joy. Joy isn't the same as being happy. Happiness is a temporary feeling while joy is a contentment that lasts. God is the only true source of joy. God's way is the best way and his timing is always right. Dwelling on past experiences or mistakes, pain and problems we cannot control or times when we were happier than today will never bring joy. It's true that life isn't all rainbows and unicorns. Bad things happen and we have to live through them. And when we're living a life that follows Jesus' teachings, we can learn to be content. Maybe not happy, but content. Even when bad things happen. Each day, look for ways that God is present and working in your life. Thank Him for the blessings and the challenges you receive. Find ways to help and serve others with your time and talents. Jesus lived a life defined by loving and serving people as much as possible. We might find temporary happiness from possessions, things, or people, but following Christ's example is the center of joyful contentment. Our next question comes from our friend Valentino Nora on Instagram. Question two, is it a sin to kill insects? Interestingly, we've gotten forms of this question many times. No, it's not a sin to kill insects as a result of an unintentional accident or to rid your home of pests. Even killing insects for food would not be considered sinful. A case might be made for killing certain insects in the interest of education, such as capturing and pinning bugs on a board for a science class. But we must also remember that God did create all things with a specific purpose even insects. So out of respect for the creator of all things, we should not participate in the unnecessary, gratuitous killing of any insects in the wild. Our last question comes from Lexi over on 412teens.org. Question three, is it a sin to be shy? Shyness usually stems from some kind of fear, such as being nervous about giving a speech or afraid of judgment from others. Those are perfectly normal feelings that are okay for anyone to feel. Often, this fear is rooted in a traumatic past experience. Sometimes it's tied to a serious mental health concern. Whatever the case, it's okay to seek help from your parents, a pastor, or a Christian counselor to help you process the emotions and pain caused by past trauma. If your shyness stems from a fear of rejection or being obsessed with acceptance by others, then we want to remind you how God has accepted you and loves you already, just as you are. 2 Timothy 1.7 says that the Holy Spirit, God's gift, does not want you to be afraid of people, but to be wise and strong, and to love them and enjoy being with them. Even though life isn't always wonderful, we can rest in the knowledge that God is on our side and cares for us always. Don't let your fear keep you from an encouraging community or stop you from helping others. Yes, it can be a scary world out there, and we promise that God is right there with you. This has been Real Questions Real Quick. Thanks to everyone who has sent us questions for this episode. You can leave your questions in the comments below, DM us on Instagram, or visit 412teens.org to search for more answers to life's spiritual questions.